now. Welcome to sixth grade, chapter 12, lesson two. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. So I went ahead and the attribute, the unit, the means, and the number, and I color coded those on all of them just so that I would remember to do each of the four things. It's asking for four things for each question. Okay. So the attribute, okay, is the thing that's being measured. Well, on this, it's, that's the height of the plant. Okay, the unit that it's being measured in, well, that's inches, it's right there. Okay, the means is probably a ruler or a tape measure. I'll put tape measure. Okay, and the number of them, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, boom, okay? All right, we're gonna do the same thing on this one, okay? All right, what's being raised or what's being measured? Amount of cereal in boxes. It's gonna be the amount of cereal. Oops, broke my pencil, all right. Amount of cereal, okay. Unit, it says right here, it's being measured in cups. Okay. The means is probably going to be a measuring cup. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times two is 16 times. Okay. Really easy, guys. Okay. Just don't overthink it. Okay. So go ahead and do number four. Okay, and this says, number five says, the table below gives the amount of time Preston spends on his homework. Name the likely means of measurement. Well, it's being measured in hours. Well, that would probably be a clock or a watch. Okay, all right. The table below shows the speed of cars on a highway. Name the unit of measure. Well, that's miles per hour. It tells you that. Okay. All right. So we're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check just like always. And we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. It says, what is the area of the figure shown below? Okay. Well, first, let's write down our formula. So we're going to need um, a rectangle, which is just length times width, okay? And then a trapezoid, okay, which is base one plus base two Uh, times one half. Nope, my bad. Times the height divided by two. Sorry, guys. All these formulas sometimes you get mixed up. Okay, so for the rectangle, okay, that's four and a half by seven. Okay. Okay, so whatever that is. Then Okay, so this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky on you because it wants you to see that this is the same size as this, which means this is 4.5. Okay, so base 1, 4.5, plus base 2, which you'll see is 7, times the height, which is 4, divided by two. Okay, and then we're going to add those two up. Okay, so, all right, so 4.5 times 7. 7 times 5, 35, carry the 3. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3 is 31. We're going to go in one time for the decimal, so 31.5, okay? Our second one, we have to add these two, which is going to be 11.5. Okay. 
and we're going to multiply that by 4. Okay, then we're going to quickly divide that by 2. Okay, so 4 times 5, 20, carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, and 4 times 1 is 4. We're going to go in one time for that decimal. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the 46 in there, not the point zero. Okay, 2 goes into 4. 2 times 2 times 2 is 4, subtract it 0, bring down our 6, 2 goes into 6. 3 times 3 times 2 is 6, subtract it 0. So we're going to add on 23. I'm going to put point 0 just so that I have a number in that column, okay? Drop our decimal. 5, 4, 5, 54.5 centimeters. And we multiply centimeters by centimeters, so centimeters squared. Okay. All right. Now, it says each base of a triangular prism has an area. Uh, you know what? Before I do that, make sure that you guys are showing your work. Okay, you have to show your work. Okay, so now let's go on. And it says each 